Hello everybody, it's the 10th of May, 10th of May 2024, and I'm just on my way to, uh, to check a house where I've done rat trapping in the past, uh, it's a big house, beautiful house, and um, a lot of they've spent a lot of money and I've spent a lot of time doing exclusion work on this house uh, to keep the rats out and um, up on the roof everywhere try to be pretty thorough about it and um, seems to have worked because uh, they haven't had a problem with the rodents there for about three years the last time I was in there I was just checking my records last night and the last time I was in there rebaiting the traps was uh, about this time 2021 so three years ago was the last time I was there however uh, the caretaker on the property phoned me last night and said that the owners are coming up um, <clears throat> for their holiday they live uh, south of here quite a long way south they're coming up for their holiday in a few weeks and they've told her, asked her to clean the place out and just uh, make sure everything's ship shape and ready for their holiday so they don't have to do any maintenance or any yucky jobs on, it, on the place. Um, so she says that there's some smell in the house and flies. There's a few flies buzzing around in the house and there's a bit of a stale, putrid sort of smell. So the signs are there that uh, something's dead in one of the traps or two of the traps up in the attic We've got traps up in the attic with huge crawl space under the house uh, got traps under there and um, they were in the past going in under the house but we found out where they were getting in and blocked that up so maybe they found a new way of getting into the house um, or maybe it's simply a few mice in the traps. That's what I'm picking. That's my number one uh, guess at this problem is that it's a mouse or two. Uh, it's the right time of the year, springtime. Mice are active. They get into houses at this time of the year. So maybe a mouse or two or three has got caught in the traps and is making a bit of a smell as it rots and uh, the flies have come in. Um, or maybe it's another rat infestation. Maybe they found a new way to get into the crawl space or into the, into the attic and, um, and they're causing problems in those areas. But we'll find out. I'll be going. <clears throat> I should get there in a few minutes and uh, I'll check the attic and I'll check the crawl space underneath. I'll check the traps in both places, rebate them and analyze whatever is caught in the traps if anything and also inspect especially the crawl space around the bottom and inspect it carefully to see if they have uh, breached it again because it's a fairly large house and there's a lot of uh, potential spots where they could get in under the house by chewing through the wood or um, possibly chewing or moving some other materials allowing them to get in under the house and from there of course they go up into the walls and into the attic um, and also I will check the roof probably again and see if there's somewhere up there because that's where they seem to be getting in in the past uh, there was a few holes up on the under the eaves which were blocked up with wire mesh and foam spray foam Okay, so stay tuned, and um, I will update you in due course. Oh, and thanks for watching. Thanks for clicking the like button, and thanks for subscribing. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you in the next video.